Hey guys, here recently, the folks over at a company called Trig Key reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in taking a look at their S5 mini PC. And uh, it arrived and uh, that's how big the entire package is. It's very, very uh, not big. I know there are other words for that, but it's not small, but it's not big. It's kind of, I tell you what, let's, let's bring it over here. Let's uh, put it under the overhead camera. Uh, this camera will look better than my last camera. I hope. So let's let's do this unboxing. Let's get it sorted through. Let's hook it up. Let's do some testing just to see how good it really is. So as I said, this is the Trig Key uh, S5, uh, S5, I guess. Uh, speed, high performance, S series mini PC is what it says there. We've got uh, some more branding there. Nothing on either end, more speed S there. But here on the back, <clears throat> uh, it says the CPU is an AMD Ryzen 7 5700U processor with a 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gig uh, hard drive, Wi-Fi 6, a one gig LAN port, and a 19 volt 3.42 amp uh, power adapter. So about 65 watts to power this thing. Of course, it says HDMI. It's got some other branding stuff there. Um, but that's what the packaging is. Very, very basic stuff. I do appreciate. It is a good looking box though. You know, like it's just, it's aesthetically pleasing. So we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna dump this out like so. And of course we get a user's manual um, and I'm not ever gonna look at that because why would I? Uh, I like to just kind of rog dog things and figure out what's going on on my own. Now, of course, there also was this, so I, I, I apologize for spoiling the, uh, the the surprise there, but there is our mini PC. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that out. There's more padding on the bottom, which I actually appreciate for, for some additional cushion during travel. I'm gonna set that aside for just a moment, and then we're gonna take a look at our accessories box. See, it says, see it says accessories right there. So we're gonna set this other box aside and we're gonna dig into this just a little bit. So uh, HDMI cable, pretty basic stuff, nothing to get too excited about. Glad it's there, don't get me wrong, definitely glad it's there. Um, and then it looks like uh, another HDMI cable. Uh, so you're gonna get two different HDMI cables, a very normal one and a very small thin one. So whichever floats your boat, I'll never find that again. Um, and then of course we had our power adapter. We're gonna to come to that in a minute. We also get this little adapter here and I'm gonna talk about this for just a minute. Um, I apologize, I should be doing this over here. There we go. This will actually screw into uh, the back uh, like so. I mean, you know, with the right stuff anyway. And then you can mount this uh, to like the back of a VESA mount, like on the back of your computer or something like that. Um, I don't like to do that because it keeps me from being able to access my ports, my power buttons and things like that. But I know for like a, uh, like a, a business or an office or something like that where you're not moving things around quite as much as say I might be, uh, that might make perfect sense. So, uh, so that's what that little, uh, this little, this little thing here is for is to, uh, so that you can mount it on the back of a VESA assembly for your monitor. And then of course, oh, I lied. And then some of those mounting screws, uh, both for this, this adapter, but also I believe for, um, for some internal storage, I might be wrong on that. Don't hold me to that, but I think that's what it's for. Uh, I'm gonna put that over there too. And then of course, uh, we do get our 65 watt uh, power adapter here with a barrel jack, um, just a standard you know, little barrel jack thing there, um, like so. Uh, we're gonna use that here in just a moment. Uh, what I wanna do first uh, before we power this thing on and that sort of thing is I want to flip it over uh, and I wanna take out those four screws. Luckily, they're all Phillips. I do appreciate that they are all Phillips. Man, that is that was that was easier than I expected it to be. So we're gonna go ahead and take all of these out. And there's one little thing here, and it's a it's it's a it's an attention to detail thing that they did that I really, really, unlike me, uh, appreciate. Um, man, that's a really long screw for some reason. It seems. Oh no, just caught. No big deal. All right, one more here. There we go. Yeah, they're all the same. So uh, what you'll notice is this little tab right here. I'm gonna bring this over here. Oops, uh, if I knew what I was doing, man, there's this tab right there, right? And that is so that you can pull off the bottom. Yay. Uh, I know that's a dumb thing to get excited about, but I can't tell you how many times I've like had to bash a thing on the side, like on its side in order to get it to come loose. It's just a little attention to detail that I really do appreciate. So when we're right here, uh, we can see that there is a SATA adapter for a two and a half inch drive uh, if you want to uh, expand your storage that way. I love that that's there. 
Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take all of this apart because there's there are more goodies under here that we wanna take a look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo all of this. Man. And I'm gonna try to remember to set all of my screws in different piles so, oops, so I know where they go. I think those are actually the same screws. They were geniuses about this, man. It looks like they really made all of these all of these screws, at least so far, uh, the same, uh, which makes it so much easier to not uh, to not worry about screwing something up later and and getting a screw in the wrong spot or whatever. Um, I think there's one, two, three. There are there are four screws here. Um, so you got one, two, three, and then instead of in this corner, it's actually right here. So that's where your fourth screw is going to be. Okay, that screw is much smaller than the others. That's going to be easy to identify. Uh, I want to do this one next, I suppose. If I can get this. A few moments later. All right, no worries. Also, this little SATA adapter just unhooks, and there it is. And it's just attached with this little ribbon cable there. So now I'm going to take this out. Um, and in here, this is what I wanted to show. Uh, I'm going to unhook that little cooling fan. So uh, focus, 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 focus. Okay, so we've got our M.2 drive right here. That is our 500 gig NVMe drive. Uh, I believe under that is where the, and maybe you can kind of see it right there. Uh, that's where our wireless connectivity is gonna be. And then over here, we get dual channel RAM. I am so, so happy to see this. Uh, so many of the mini PCs that I've reviewed recently just have single channel RAM. And that could be a limitation of the N series Intel chips. This is the, uh, the AMD 75700U, so it does support the dual channel. But that's what it looks like on the inside. I haven't taken it any further apart than this um, because I don't believe there's really anything under here or above here or whatever, um, other than, than your, their, your, your cooling system. So uh, I think with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this back together off screen because it's just the opposite of how I took it apart and you don't need to waste your time with that. So I'm gonna put this back together and then when I've got it back together, we're gonna get it hooked up. I'm going to uh, do some testing. We're gonna do some, just just some number crunching with it basically, just to see what kind of scores we get with Time Spy. So I'll be back in just a second. So <clears throat> because this video is very unscripted and I wasn't paying attention, uh, we didn't actually take a look at the device itself. Um, so let's do that. Uh, so on the top, obviously, uh, Ryzen 7 series, 5000 series seven, 5000 series, Ryzen 7 5000, jeez, man. Anyway, that's what that is. And it's got the Radeon graphics, a uh, little branding on the top, a little silk screen, appreciate that, looks good. On the front, there's a clear CMOS right here, a couple of USB 3s, a USB-C, which I love seeing on the front. So many, many PC manufacturers are missing that. Uh, next to that, we've got a headphone microphone combo jack. Button, uh, power button looks good. I actually like that red, that, that kind of flat red. Kind of kind of a nice, nice soft, squishy, rubberized feeling to it, which I dig. On the side, we've got some intake. Uh, on both sides, actually, we've got intake. Uh, really nothing going on on the bottom. We looked at that already. Uh, but on the back, we've got our exhaust right here. One gig LAN port, uh, USB 3, USB 2 display port. HDMI and our barrel jack adapter. Um, so I'm actually real stoked to see that we've got two different types of displays, or display outs rather, display port and HDMI. I really do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up real quick. Um, we're gonna we're gonna use my cam link here. Hopefully, 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 I've run into some issues recently getting uh, certain devices to recognize it uh, being a monitor, which is all it is to that device. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna plug some stuff in here real quick, like that. Oh geez, uh, of course I want I want my mouse and keyboard, which really uh, is just the same Logitech keyboard and mouse combo thing that I use for everything when I'm out here, uh, unless I'm typing and then I've got a, a DOS keyboard. But that's not why we're here. So we got everything plugged in there. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna bring this over. So hopefully we can kind of keep this. So where we can see it, I'm gonna press the power button. Okay, we've got a light here. And hopefully, hey, we've got a light. We've got a light, that is exciting. I know it shouldn't be, uh, but I'll tell you it is. I'm mashing F10, uh, uh, escape, delete, F2 and F10 in hopes that it will get me into um, the BIOS screen. So here we are. Um, let's see. I mean, it's only off by like 10 or 12 hours or something, so that's whatever. So it is an AMI, uh, just like I thought it would be. It's an American Megatrends uh, BIOS here. Um, 
So we've got do, 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 AMD Ryzen 7 5700U with Radeon graphics, eight cores running at 1800 megahertz um, at 1.2 volts, 16 gigs of RAM. It's got date and time, which again is wrong. We've got trusted computing. Um, we've got our, our, our TPM uh, set up there, ACPI, hardware monitor, fan function, watch. So all of this is pretty, pretty standard stuff, if we're being honest. Uh, I appreciate that there's that, our chipset with our North Bridge and our South Bridge and our graphics. Uh, nothing under GFX there, that's fine. We could do a password, I don't wanna do a password, just definitely don't wanna do that. So, okay, so it's, it's, it's a very standard BIOS here, nothing fancy, just enough to do its job without any bells and whistles. So uh, let's, just, let's just discard changes and exit and say yes. So here we've got, it's kind of a cool logo that they've got there. I appreciate that it's not huge, like a lot of them tend to be. Um, so, uh, we're going to boot into Windows 11 here. And if I remember correctly, I went in and, and actually, um, uh, set up Windows previously. Um, and I wish I hadn't, but I did. And here we are. So there's that. Okay. So let's, let's take a look and just see. This will tell me easily, I think. So when you want to C drive, users... Yeah, so yeah, so DB Tech is a user, so I obviously set this up already. I've been through so many many PCs lately, I often forget what I've talked about, what I haven't talked about, that sort of thing. So I have set this up already. Um, and, and look, here's the deal, right? Like, this thing is gonna be great for, uh, you know, getting online and, and um, you know, anything from scrolling the internet and sending email to doing your taxes and that sort of thing, right? It's going to be great for all of that. Uh, if we come over to our performance tab, if my trackpad would recognize here, we're going to go to our CPU uh, and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to see something kind of nuts here. Uh, nope, I don't want to do that. I want to change the graph to logical processors. That is 16 cores on this PC. So it's eight, or sorry, eight cores, 16 threads. So 16 virtual cores. And um, that's more than my desktop PC has. I've got a, a six core, 12 thread set up in the house. Um, and so this, this has more cores than my PC in there. Though that one does have a dedicated GPU that this one doesn't have. So there's some trade-offs. So, um, so that's that, that is, that's what we're, we're seeing here. I dig it. Um, of course, I think the next thing I want to do is I want to download Time Spy, the free edition of Time Spy, just so I apologize for that noise. Uh, I want to download the free version of Time Spy so that I can run some tests on it, um, both to see what kind of scores it gets, but also to find out how loud it gets. Uh, the last video I did where I did Time Spy was on, uh, it was actually, uh, it was on, on, on this, this Ace Magic AX15, um, and it was silent, like super silent crazy like I couldn't believe that it was so quiet so let me let me get time spy installed on here and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at what kind of scores we get okay so just out of curiosity I wanted to see what this uh, trig key s5 would look like under just basically no load um, I did just extract uh, 3d mark time spy um, via zip but this is what we're looking at of course this is the top um, you know, you can see there's a cold spot right over there. And if I touch it, hey, look, there's there's that. So uh, we've got air coming in over on that side that I just touched. We've got some air, I believe, coming in on this side. We've also got a lot of air coming out here. And here we can see that that exhaust is about 40 degrees Celsius. I move up here, you know, we're down to like 20, 26, 27 degrees in that cold spot over there. So this is definitely our exhaust. Once we get... Um, 3D Mark Time Spy up and running. We're definitely going to take another look at this uh, for two reasons. One, I want to see what it looks like, but then also I want to hear uh, what the thermals on this thing sound like. So, um, so next thing I'm going to do is actually come back over. I'm going to install this, and then when we're ready, I'll come back and we'll actually run these tests and see what it looks like. Okay, so it did crash. Um, so it didn't actually give us a test. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop all of the recording and that sort of thing. I'm just gonna let it run, see what happens, see if we get uh, something else to happen, uh, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. Okay, so here we are a few minutes later. I managed to finally get the tests to run. I really just needed to update the, the software, the testing software. Once I did that, rebooted, everything was fine. Also, while we're talking about rebooting, um, from the time I you know hit the start menu and hit restart, until I'm back on my desktop, averaged about 28 seconds. So um, 
pretty impressed with that, to be completely honest. Really, really do appreciate how quickly that took place, but just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, so now that we've got our tests done, let's jump back over to here and take a look. Our overall Time Spy score was 1465, which they rated great. Um, we've got a graphics score of 1288 and a CPU score of 6640. Uh, we can see that we spent a good chunk of our time above, uh, well, kind of between like 2,000 and 4,000 megahertz or two and four gigahertz. Okay, so we've got a GPU, Radeon, graphics, Ryzen 5, we've talked about all of these specs. Uh, the display, again, 4K at 150% DPI scaling. Um, our AMD Radeon graphics, display one, connect to the display true. Let's scroll some more. Um, so our graphics score, 1288. Graphics test one at 8.52 FPS and graphics two at 7.29. Again, not great numbers, but again, we're talking about a very, very small PC here um, that never really seemed to get maybe, yeah, this will tell us down here a little further, but didn't actually get hot. Um, so I feel like there's a chance that we could push it even farther if we wanted to. Anyway, CPU score of 6640 and uh, the CPU test was 22.3 one frames per second on average. Uh, if we take a look at our frame rates here, our demo doesn't tell us anything. Uh, you know, we've already looked at these numbers. Um, when we got into the CPU test, we started at about 50, uh, then it dropped to about 35, and then it dropped to about 22, 23, kind of somewhere in that range. Um, we've got a couple of different uh, things here going on. We've got a GPU temp and a CPU temp. So it only appears to be giving me one of them. Um, so, so basically it looks like our CPU, or sorry, GPU temp averaged about 60 degrees, 62, 63, kind of somewhere in there. Our GPU temp hovered in, in, in like the low 60s and it looks like our CPU kind of averaged right around the 70s until the very end, of course, when we're doing our CPU test. Uh, and then of course that was that got real close to 80 degrees again for being as small as it is, and honestly, as quiet as it is. Again, let me let me come back over here so we can we can look at my dumb face. Even though it did hit those temps, uh, which weren't weren't bad, the sound wasn't bad. I mean, you could you could kind of hear it, um, but but even with ambient noise around, it was it was it, you could just you you had to listen for it to hear it. Um, but even you know, like here's here's the device, right? Um, yeah, so like, oops, let's go this way. Like I would be able to feel the air like out to about here um, while it was, while, while that fan was spinning and it wasn't loud. Again, ambient noise covered it. It wasn't bad at all. I was actually really, really surprised by that. Let's actually go back up to the top here so we can look at those numbers one more time. Um, so again, a, a score of 1465 uh, total with a 1288 on the graphics and a 60, or sorry, 6640 on the CPU. So when we consider that this is uh, a sub $400 unit, in fact, um, let me do this. So this is on Amazon right now. This is the Trig Key uh, se or Ryzen 7 S5. This is the one we've got, uh, and that's our price on it right now. And it looks like there's a coupon code for it right now. So uh, as, as per usual, I will have a link to this in the description. It'll be an affiliate link if you wanna check that out. Uh, that way it doesn't change anything for you guys, but I get a little bit of a kickback for that, sending that referral over there. Um, I, I'm, I, am, I am very, very pleased with the Trig Key S5. I'll probably do some more testing uh, behind the scenes once now that this video is basically over, because it just intrigues me. I wanna know more about this device and what I can do with it. Um, let me know in the comment section down below, please. Uh, tell me how your day's going, tell me what your thoughts are on the Trig Key S5. Um, uh, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on that. Also, just, I know I've been putting out a lot of hardware content recently. Uh, if you've been catching my live streams, I've talked about that a little bit and why I haven't been doing much with regards to Docker containers and that sort of thing. Those are coming, I promise. Um, I've just got a couple of pieces of hardware that I needed to knock out, get out of the way, but I've got some some cool Docker containers coming up. Um, 
here real soon that we're going to talk about. I've also got live streams uh, based on the polls that I took on YouTube. It looks like live streams are going to be Saturdays, probably early afternoon. Uh, that is mountain mountain time, whether that's standard or daylight. It doesn't, I don't know. But mountain time, so you have to be six or seven hours behind uh, GMT. Uh, we're probably looking at like, you know, one or two o'clock mountain time on Saturdays to start doing uh, live streams. That's my goal. I need you guys to help me stay accountable on that. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section um, what your thoughts are on this, what your thoughts are about uh, my stupid face, uh, what your thoughts are on, on whatever you want to talk about. I'd love to have a chat with you. Uh, if you've got ideas for upcoming videos or the videos that you'd like to see me make videos about, hmm, let's try that again. If you've got other ideas for videos that you'd like to see me make, you can leave those in the comment section down below, or you can email me, david at dbtechreviews.com. Um, I may not always respond, but I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Um, but I think with all that said, again, links in the description for everything. Uh, I want to thank Trig Key for sending this over. They didn't pay me for this. They just sent it over, said, hey, we want you to make a video. Tell us what your thoughts are. I'm super impressed. I just, I want to get that out there. Um, so I, with, with all of that said, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to wrap this up and talk to you guys in the next video.